Okay, so this problem says you have a pyramid with a triangular base whose sides are 3, 4, and 5 meters. If the volume of the pyramid is 24 cubic meters, what is the height um, of that pyramid in meters? And they say to that base because they're talking about relative to the base. So let's just set up a little picture to see what's happening here. We have our 3, 4, 5 base, so 3 and 4 and 5. And that, of course, is the bottom of our pyramid. We'll label it 3, 4, and 5. And we know that there is a height, of course, of this pyramid. And we know the volume as well. So I'm just going to draw this. This is my pyramid here. And we're trying to find the value of the height, the value of h. What is that value? OK, so the volume is 24 right? cubic meters. Put meters to the third power. And I guess what we should think about is how do you find the volume of a triangular pyramid? Now you might have the formula memorized, but some of the logic I think is is fun to talk about because when you have a triangular pyramid, in effect what you have is one sixth of a rectangular pyramid with an equal base. And where is that coming from? Well, if you well, you might have never heard this before, but if you, let's just talk about a rectangular prism for a moment. So if I have this rectangular prism here, and I'm trying to find the volume, what do I do? Well, what I could do, of course, is take the length times the width and multiply it by the height, and that's it. Well, when you find a pyramid, what's going to happen? Well, a pyramid, and this is, I think, really fun. To, if you can get puzzles that do this or set it up, if you take a regular rectangular pyramid, so the base of the pyramid is a rectangle, that's how they name these things, what's going to happen? How many pyramids fill that prism? It's not two. And that and that's what often surprises people. It takes more than two pyramids. And you can kind of see that if you think about all this empty space here in the rectangular prism. It in fact takes three rectangular pyramids, of course, to fill this rectangular prism. So that's a rectangular pyramid. Now imagine a triangular pyramid. Each triangular pyramid can be thought of as half of a rectangular pyramid. So if it takes three rectangular pyramids to fill a rectangular prism, it takes twice as many of triangular pyramids. Which means, of course, if we think of this um, triangular pyramid and we imagine the rectangular prism that would surround it, right? you don't have to do all this, but once I, I want to show you the idea behind it. So let me just clear this off for a minute, and now I'm going to explain how to use this logic to quickly solve this problem. So I would say here, if the volume of the pyramid is 24 cubic meters, right? the volume of the rectangular prism that would surround this triangular pyramid has to be six times larger than that, since, since six of these pyramids fit inside. So the volume of the RP, rectangular prism, is equal to six times 24, which is, well, 120, and 24 more is 144. Why am I doing all this? Well, because this is now easy to solve. With a rectangular prism, it has to have um, a base where the triangle of the triangular pyramid fits inside. So that means our triangular pyramid had a base of 3 by 4 by 5. And if we draw that triangle here, 3, 4, and 5, the 3 and the 4 could be quickly thought of as the width and the length of our rectangular right prism so now when we draw a rectangular prism here just draw this up we can quickly find the height we know that the volume of this rectangular prism is what well it's 144 and we know the the base has a size of 3 by 4 which is 12 12 goes into 144 12 times so 3 by 4 the area of our base of our rectangular prism times a height of 12 will give you the correct volume of the rectangular prism, which the triangular pyramid fits inside and has the same height of. We're, we're saying this pyramid fits perfectly inside the prism. That's our answer, 12. All right, hope this helped.